Yo, pull up! You talking crazy! He about to bad this time. What is that on your head, boy? The silky way? The silky way. The silky way. They secured it again. Bro, this bike falls on me, I'm gonna cry. Ah! My nuts. Give me a hand, my brother. Pull me out. Ah. Oh, he's literally just dragging me. <laughs> I'm becoming a rag. Oh my god, dude. Dirt? Yeah. Can I just jump on it? You're gonna jump on it like that, bro? Literally for breakfast? Breakfast. I like that, but I didn't go all the way to the edge. Nice little breakfast warm up. Ready? It's my turn now. Let's get it. Ah. Oh! Stop. 90 degrees, bright and early in the morning. We're trying to double peg. First spot of the day. Down the kink rail. First spot of the day. It is no joke. We've been on the grind lately, the every other day grind. Uh -huh. I mean, it stopped for a little bit. I'll explain more later, but right now, this is the goal. Look at that adobo on there. Got adobo, you know what I'm saying? That adobo. Season the rail before you cook it. So. <laughs> yeah. Now, nah, all jokes aside, all the credit goes to Austin because he was the first one to do it. I just felt like that would be like the perfect, you know, nice little warm-up guy. It's now Stefan's turn. How many tries do you think you're gonna get it in? Three. 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 Maybe two. Right, if you get in three tries, you got five bucks. Oh my god. Fuck. Let me give it one more. One more? Over it. First spot of the day. I ain't stressing shit. We got a whole day ahead of us. 91 degrees, bro. It went from 30 last week to 91 this week. It's hot. <laughs> so basically what I wanted to catch up with you guys on was, as you guys know, lately we've been on the every other day grind, but that came to a stop, I think like last week. I just had a lot of shit going on. Moved into the FTL HQ. We had to rip apart a room. We had to lay down the floors. We had to paint the walls. That was like a four day thing and I wasn't really filming too much. same time I also have my own thing going on like I told you guys a few months ago in the Q&A video I'm currently like building up my own website I have like a bunch of shit in the works that'll be I'll talk more about that next week but anyways that's what's been going on but now I'm gonna try and post every other day right now we are in Queens and we're gonna go meet up with Augie by his crib and ride Brooklyn for the day he's just got back from London I believe and he hasn't ridden yet since he's gotten back and today is beautiful I think first spot is Broadway Junction Stefan's definitely never been there and neither has Augie we need to get over this fence so I'll go over, actually I'll hop up here, and then you pass me the bike. Oh, bro, this thing is swaying. You gotta bring it over here, bro. Ah. it pretty good. Oh yeah, of course my lamps like that. Bye. Oh, trying to get redemption for the other day, eh? 
So as I'm grinding this rail, I get a text message in a group chat. It's another team weed post, this time with Tony Pizza. Suffolk County Police today arrested a man for exposing himself to children at a skateboard park in Greenlawn this evening. Tony Pizza unzipped his pants and exposed himself in a lewd manner in front of kids. Look, they photoshopped my man. <laughs> What's funny that about that is I actually see that guy always at the skate park, which is really f***ing creepy. I don't even think he knows English. He just sits there and watches everybody. Little would I ever expect him to try and molest some kids. But now, now supposedly, it's Tony Pizza. The unidentified man is Tony Pizza. It's a struggle out here right now. What happened the other day? My shit f***ed up. Oh, oh. Don't even worry, so you man's gotta bring the tablet. What the f*** is that combination, bro? You got a Dunkin' Donuts freeze and some Popeye's chicken? Is this real? Yeah, bro. It's cotton candy. That's ready bro. to go to sleep. Cotton candy. That shit gotta put you to sleep. <laughs> A few moments later. 20 minutes later, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> He's slum city. Ow. Hello? Ew! What's up? It turns out, I guess, from that pegs hard down that rail, Stefan actually ended up getting like a slow leak. Luckily, we haven't left the crib yet. Got the tire all pumped up, but we have met up with Augie, and now we are about to go to the Broadway Junction spot. Turn around real quick, show him. Okay, but we gotta stop somewhere when we get to the city. All right. It takes like 10 minutes. I promise. Ball sack. Oh <laughs> You want to see it? Yeah, I'm going to flip that too. <laughs> oh, whoa, that's mad. That's mad. Crazy, huh? Yeah, crazy. Madder than mad. <laughs> whoa! I almost biffed it. Damn, man, I knew we were going to get the boot out of this thing. I'm going to call the cops. All right. Okay, call the cops. This is no game. All right. You go going up on this bike. You're not taking my bike, my man. Okay, this is the bike for being going up there. When the cops come, you go hold this bike. My man. Okay. There's taking your bike, grab it. I'll put your shit in my bag. Yeah, you're not taking my bike. Go ahead, take me your bike. Wait until the cops come. Go ahead, take me your bike, man. Yeah, we're leaving. We don't want a problem. Let go of my fucking bike, bro. We do not want a problem. If I don't lose the bike, my dude. If I don't lose the, if I don't lose the bike, get out of my face. Stop yelling at me right now. No, Damn you can't respectful. tell me stop yelling hey, at you're you. You're grabbing my stuff. Stop no. yelling at me. Hey, stop, wait. stop, stop. No, 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 get off of me. It's not no, worth no, it. It's not worth no. it. I don't care. Call the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops. I ain't losing it. Give me my bike, my dude. GT boy, another GT bike. Try it. Another GT bike. Chill. Try it. You were just so you were so hyped on it. You were just filming us. We have it all on film. You gave us permission. I give you permission. You gave us permission. I give you permission. We have it on film, bro. All right, got it from Flip. Yeah, call the cops. You gave us permission. You, you, you were just decided and grabbed your phone, dude. Hold my bike. No one's gonna grab it. You're acting like a kook. GT. You gave it. us yeah. fucking permission. Let's just get out of here, man. Let's just get out of here. Who no, gave us permission? Right. The cops, listen, listen, listen. I gave you permission. I, 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 I give you permission. I didn't say anything about this. Book it. Book it. You want to hold this bike? You're not holding my bike, my man. You gave us permission. I don't care if the cops are coming or what. We have it on footage. If your man here gave us permission, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're riding it. I gave you permission. You went and got your phone. I give you permission. You said that was cool. Oh, I'm good. Dude, let go of our f***ing bikes, man. Dude, homie here gave us permission, so I don't know why. Okay. I don't know if you're on drugs or something right now. You need to what? go in the car now. Dude, you hold your bike. You're not holding any of our bikes, man. One of you are the ones with the common sense around here. We all have you common sense, come man. It's okay. He thinks I'm on drugs. The guy has my bike in there, and we have it on video. I'm not interested permission. in what he gave you. I don't you. care. I am the but how are we supposed here. to know, though? Wait, you have a stars in your shirt? We don't know. Well, tell the cops. Okay, that. Well, let's tell the cops. We'll wait up here for him. Thank you for being an asshole. Dude. Came here for maybe five minutes. All you wanted to get this quick clip on the way to the actual spot they were supposed to go to, and now these guys are making it some crazy ass altercation. They have your bike in the building. Now we gotta wait for the cops to come here. Yeah, we stopped, we packed our stuff up, and then when we packed our stuff up, he grabbed the bike. I don't want any problems, man. I just want to get out of here. My bike bag We won't have to deal with this shit at the next spot. My God. I tell you guys all the time, like, you never know the situation that you're going to get into, and today was one of them. Back in action? Back in action. Where'd you get the patch from? Dollar Bodega. Dollar 89. Kit change? Who's on the back though? Huh? Who's on the back? What's on the back? Who's on the back of the jersey? Oh, Judge. You about to see the Judge? I keep my composure. Right. I kept my composure until there was a drop, 
lit of his spit. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle, and they're just like, and he's like, and I'm like, bro. But we didn't see the judge, right? No, we're safe. We're safe. We're safe. Okay. It's nice. Yo, pull out! He's talking crazy! He's about to bad this time. You guys are trying to get on my bike. I want to ride around and cook this From that last clip, what you guys have seen, pretty much from there, it just went zero to 100 real quick. It's very hard to even like talk about it because something like that was so unexpected, totally out of the blue. Let's just talk about the setting first. Okay, so we are at this, this spot. It's called like the Broadway Junction spot. It was me, Augie, Stefan. This group of kids, they were sitting in front of the park. Now you can only see so much going on in that clip, obviously, because they are behind us. Now they were sitting at a table and I, I kind of knew something fishy was up and I heard them, oh, let's go play basketball. Oh, let's do it, let's do it, let's go, come on. I'm trying to do this clip all of a sudden these kids come walking through and one kid goes to grab Augie's bike right yeah. that's how it started yeah, the yeah, kid tried to grab, grab Augie's bike. bike he seen Augie's bike was on the ground because Augie was using Stefan's bike to film the fisheye angle of me that's when it all went so fucking wrong and like I've never been in a situation like this before but I'm gonna let Stefan take over from here and explain his perspective because I know Augie's gonna do this in his video and I feel like it's just best if everyone hears everyone's side of the story oh, let them know what happened I'm honestly. manning down the long lens the kid walks right past me don't say anything the other dude walks behind him, see the kid walk up to Augie's bike, goes to pick Augie's bike up, Augie goes, yo, it's my shit. The other dude that was behind him was like, yo, if you touch him, anything, I'm gonna, pretty much I'm gonna fuck you up. Before you know, there was another one, the third one that popped up, doing the red shorts, he came up, he was fired up, he was ready to go. By the time we got to number five, I, I fucking stopped counting. I just saw Mad Head, just three of us. I we think got, at that point, that's when I came over to the camera and I was just like, yeah. yo, I gotta put it in my bag. We because got, I knew, instantly, I knew something was out, going we down. We got bikes out. It got to the point where the kid's like, yo, I didn't even want to fucking take your bike. Like, I was gonna ride it around. They took Augie's bike. Altercation went down. They ended up punching Augie. Brought his bike back. Told them that they didn't even want it. Told them they didn't want it. Shit. Threw the bike at him. His wheel fell off. And they ran at us. We ran across the street. They're like, get the fuck out of my park. I looked behind me. One kid threw a rock at me shit was fucked up but now i'm going to explain my side of the story which will be a little bit more in depth it's like a group of probably like seven to eight people i'm not going to say 10 because i don't know the exact number seven to eight people let's just say i feel like that's that's reasonable right I'd seven to eight people you you could not see all the people i in would the say clip. a positive 10 to be honest we got out of the park and so they many. gave augie's bike back it looks like there were people walking on the block and they're like oh that's my homie i know him let me yeah. jump in that they were just ready to fucking it came like a pack of hyenas. They were ready to eat. I was filming the 
the clip, Augie was filming me, and Stefan was also filming with this angle, this camera right here. He was actually using Stefan's bike for some odd reason, filming me with the fisheye. I think we took like a quick break. I might have put like baby powders on my hand. Baby, baby powders. Baby powder on my hand, or I was drinking water, something. We, we stopped, and that's when they approached us. And how they approached us was this one little kid. Honestly, now, now that I'm speaking about it, I feel like all of these kids were from around the age of 14 to 18. That was like the max. Maybe, maybe the dude that clocked. Doggy older, was like 20 or whatever. Because the dude that the dude that came with the little kid, he was definitely a little older. Yeah. Let me get back to what I was saying. So he went to go grab Augie's bike, and that's when I knew like shit was really weird. And Augie was like, "Yo, what are you doing? You can't just take my bike. You know, you have to ask me. I'm not giving you permission to just take my bike." And that's when he was like, "Oh, all right. You know what? I, I got, got something for you. you. Come on, let's pull up, pull up." And then that's when all of them. All of them started coming over, and that's when I went to Stefan, and I was just like, dude, we gotta put the camera in the back right now. Thinking from my perspective, I was just like, I have no idea what's about to happen. Let me at least put the camera in the back. They're not gonna rip off a backpack off of me when I have it strapped around me. So we put the camera away. I went over to Augie, and that's when they all came over, and they all just started screaming and saying, this, that, I'm gonna shoot you. I wanna state one thing that when Stefan went over there, they were like, yo, you're good, which I thought was hey, really, shit. really... Not weird because he didn't word. even say a single word to them. They were just like, nah, bro, you're good. But it seemed like they were just targeting Augie. For some odd reason, I don't know why, but it definitely had something to do with skin color. And I'm, I'm just making assumptions realistically. I'm not but making assumptions because dude came up to me too. He was like, what's up, what's up? And I'm like, yo, you good? Yes, and he's like, like, yeah, you good, bro. They wanted something, right? And, and that's the thing that I cannot figure out because as I tell the story, it all makes sense. And I seen this dude trying to grab Augie's camera and that's when I stepped in and I grabbed, I was like, yo, I don't know what you're doing, but you are not taking this camera. And I took the camera and at that point, they're still just going for Augie. I went over to Stefan and we went out the entrance of the other way. Now I'm leaving Augie. I'm actually leaving Augie and he's by himself. They just kept going on and on and on and with him. And then I think he was like trying to grab his stuff. Stefan actually had his backpack. And at that point, one of the kids was standing on the ledge. I mean, you guys will see all the footage in Augie's video, obviously, but he was standing on the ledge. He jumped down, Augie was looking the opposite way, and he just clocked them from behind. At that point, Augie just freaked out, and he was just going mental. He was like, why the fuck, what are you guys doing? Why are you doing this? We got put into one of those positions where... It's just like, what do you do in that situation? Like I said earlier, there was like 10 people, they're literally like fucking hyenas. Nobody knows what they want because they took his bike, right? And then he actually ended up coming back around, brought it to Augie, and he threw it at him. When he threw it at him, Augie's front wheel fell off, fell which was off, really, man. really random. And then Augie just picked up his bike and just started screaming like, what the fuck? Fuck, what's wrong with you guys? If he was on the ground and, and they all just attacked him, that would have been a total another story. But I'm just thinking from my perspective, like what do you do in this situation? Like how how can I make this better? If, if I hit the one kid or hit anybody, they're obviously targeting me. If Stefan hits anyone, they're definitely targeting him. And we have so much gear, you know, we got like thousands of dollars worth just of camera equipment. Just those like, you can't win situations. Yeah, you're just not like, gonna win. Like you're in their hood, you're in yeah, their you're in territory. Their hood, you're in the territory. They literally live across the street in those fucking buildings. They know every single one of those buildings. They want something. Obviously, they didn't want the bikes. Maybe they wanted the camera, but obviously, I put mine away and I grabbed Augie's. And at that point, bag. they just started picking up anything that they could find. Threw a brick at Stefan. Cinder block, literally. Bro. I'm not even kidding. Threw Bro a cinder block at Stefan. Brick. Augie was running at that point. I know a lot of people make jokes about like John Hicks riding in the hood, and I know I recently posted a video of a real BMX in the hood in Philadelphia. When I when I say this shit, like I am not joking. We we're in the fucking hood. Yeah, and you know, this is a spot that I've only been to once. Concrete and jungle, I would bro. never have expected this to happen. You know, I was stoked. I was just like, yo, I'm gonna take you guys to an amazing spot that you've never been to. The day started off like shit. We got into the first altercation where the cops came. Maybe it was karma, I have no idea, but I just hope to never be in again. You know, something like that is so fucking awkward and yeah. I can't stress it enough. Like, what do you do? Obviously, Augie's one of my good friends. You know, I wanna help him out, but like, I have his camera in my hand. Do I put his camera down to hit one of these kids and then they steal down? it? They take his wallet and all that like, shit. They're just literally, you cannot win in that situation. And I was just thinking, like, what can I do to get out of this? You know, if I would have hit them, it would just would have went real fucking bad. They wanted something, but I cannot seem to figure that out. I just wanted to cover that with you guys because it seriously is no joke, you know. I know Augie's gonna make a reaction video to this too, and I'm sorry, you know. I genuinely feel so sorry because it was my idea to go to this spot. I brought Safan, I brought Augie. Like I said earlier, I've only been there once. I was there with a the squad, so obviously if we had more people, guarantee the situation would have not happened. Yeah, right. It but wouldn't have happened at all. <sighs> but 
I don't even know what else to say. Wrong place, wrong time, bro. It's fucking about to be summertime in New York. This shit gets crazy. First it's 90 like, degree day and shit like this happens. like, hey, maybe I could come up on a bike and be out this summer or come up on a wallet or a camera. Or not come up on anything and just start a problem because there was one other person just filming the entire thing, which yeah. really, really got in my head. City, it's no joke. This is real Concrete BMX in the jungle. hood, dude. This is real shit. <laughs> this jungle. is real shit. You guys can talk all the shit you want. That's it. That's all I got to say, guys. Stay safe. Stay up. And I'll uh, see you guys in two days. Peace.